Uh, but also our hand seems to be taking on... Oh, whoa, whoa. Some sort of a four-dimensional shape right here. Uh, I don't even know how many sides this thing has right now. Uh, but yeah, that's a, a thing that's happening. <laughs> Look at this. What the heck? So now that I have opened Pandora's box and have started to edit the save file and add whatever cards and sigils I want to my deck, I decided that I'll use this power to uh, try and do some 200 IQ experiments, maybe even some myth busting, and show off some combos that are normally really hard to pull off. And I wanted to start by showing off a bit of a more obscure infinite combo that you can do in the game, which involves the Morsel Sigil. So the Morsel Sigil is a Casey's Mod exclusive found on the Mealworm, and the Sigil makes it so that when you sacrifice a card with the Morsel Sigil, the creature that you're summoning gains the stats of the card that had the Morsel Sigil. So if you were to also throw the Unkillable uh, Sigil into the mix, and had a way to infinitely summon and sacrifice and resummon the card with the Morsel Sigil, then you could infinitely gain stats while you're doing this. So if you take any standard, uh, you know, infinite sacrifice combo, which we've showed off in plenty of other combos before, and you just throw the Morsel Sigil into the mix, as long as the card with the Morsel Sigil has at least one attack to begin with, then you can keep sacrificing them back and forth, until they have as many stats as you want, right? You could technically go infinite with that. Now, of course, uh, doing that combo would take forever, uh, but there is a way to speed it up, and because I can, we're going to take it a step further and try and really push the limits of inscription here. So I decided to combine this morsel, I almost said mealworm, whatever, this morsel infinite combo, and I'm going to combine that with another combo we showed off in a previous video, and that was the mirror tentacle combo. So the way that the mirror tentacle thing works is you want to... Uh, I think I'm going to need another squirrel, actually. Hold on a second. Alright, perfect. So, uh, you're going to want to summon an alpha in this spot here. You're going to want to summon the uh, mirror tentacle that we're going to be using here, and then we're going to want to summon the mirror tentacle that we're going to give to Leshy right here. Uh, and then we're going to use a wise clock, and now the two mirror tentacles are facing each other. Alpha is buffing this one, and then they just start infinitely buffing each other. Uh, so that's the combo. Now, the thing is, although this is probably the only, like, automatic infinite combo here, uh, there are a couple of problems with it. For one, it doesn't really matter how much attack this thing has because it's going to just attack this mirror tentacle and then all the attack goes away because it's no longer there to buff it. But there are a couple of ways around this. One is by adding the flying sigil, airborne sigil, to the mix uh, so that you fly over and attack Leshy with your infinite attack. And the other is, of course, with the morsel sigil. And another problem with this combo last time was that it eventually crashes the game. It looks like we're losing frames already. Uh, but now that I have the Morsel Sigil in the mix, I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice our uh, Mirror Tentacle. And now our Black Goat has that amount of attack, whatever it was at at that point. Uh, okay, we're going to move the microphone and get a little closer here. It looks like 1400 or so. Now I'm going to sacrifice that again, and again it has the Morsel Sigil, so we'll, let's see what happens, I guess. Alright, well it looks like the Mirror Tentacles are buffing each other even faster now, because we're already past like 300,000. Uh, so, yeah, that's interesting, that really uh, sped things up. Uh, we're losing a lot of frame rate here, I think. Uh, I don't even know what that number is. Yeah, eventually it's going to get to a point where I can't even read the number because it's so tiny. Yeah, I have no idea, but it's going pretty fast there. So I can just do this as much as we want, and uh, while normally, technically, all the other combos are infinite, uh, they are, you know, it would take a long time to get to any sort of crazy number. But this one very quickly is able to get to numbers that I've never seen before in this game. Uh, let's see if we can... Yeah, see, I can't even read that. <laughs> Alright, I think we've broken it. It doesn't seem to want to buff the cards anymore. 
Uh... Oh. Whoa. Did we loop around? Holy cow, we're back to square one. I think. <laughs> okay then. So I tried this out before as well, and what ended up happening is that it kind of was like glitching out, and you could see it was hitting zero every now and then. So I think it was going so fast that it kept wrapping around back to zero over and over again. So there is some sort of limit uh, within the game as to how much attack you can actually have on a card. I don't know what exactly that limit is, but yeah, we're back to square one here. So to figure out how much attack exactly we got the mirror tentacle to, since obviously we can't read it, it's way too small, uh, I thought a good idea would be to attack Leshy directly with the mirror tentacle and uh or the black goat honestly it doesn't matter and see just how much attack were uh or how many teeth rather how many foils we get from it uh, but it turns out that there's a limit on the number of those you can have as well and that would be 999 so i have no idea what attack value we eventually ended up with um but yeah that's definitely <laughs> i guess that is the limit because it wrapped back around to zero uh, so there you go, there's that. So the next thing that I wanted to test out is whether or not Inscription has a hand limit, or a limit to the number of cards that you can have in your hand. Because I've heard in the past somewhere, uh, I don't remember where, but that there is a hand limit and that it's 48, so you can only have 48 cards in your hand at once. Uh, and I just sort of believed that, and I even mentioned it in, uh, in a recent video. Uh, but... You know, I decided now that I can do it pretty easily, uh, we're going to test it out to see if that's actually true or not. Uh, and the way we're going to do this, of course, is by having a hand tentacle to count the number of cards in our hand, as well as having a way of infinitely spawning new cards in our hand. And the way we're going to do this is by having another infinite sacrifice thing, uh, loop, whatever that also has the rabbit hole sigil, so it's going to spawn more rabbits. Uh, you could also do this with ant spawner or with fecundity, uh, but this is just the way, you know, it doesn't matter, whatever. So we're going to see if we can get past uh, 48 cards in the hand here. Uh, so it's going to take a little while and give me a couple minutes here. All right, so we're getting pretty close to having 48 cards in our hand. Uh, now, what's interesting about this is as we add more and more cards to our hand, it gets harder to, uh, find our Black Goat and Lammer. So maybe a better way to do this would be with Fecundity, uh, so that I'm not stuck with all these rabbits, or even Ant Spawner. Of course, I picked the worst possible way to do this, uh, but, you know, whatever. So as you can see, uh, Hand Tentacle has more than 48 attack right now. He's got 49, which means we have 49 cards in our hand, and we're just going to keep going. Uh, so, yeah, that myth has officially been busted. The card limit in the hand, if there even is one, it is certainly not 48, uh, that's for sure. Hold on a second, uh, before we proceed, I am legally obligated to make a 69 joke here. Nice. Uh, so as you can see, as we keep adding more and more cards to our hand, they are stacking on top of each other three-dimensionally. So not only are the cards getting closer and closer, uh, which makes this rabbit look ginormous, like it's a giant card like the moon or the limoncello, uh, but also our hand seems to be taking on... Oh, whoa, whoa. Some sort of a four-dimensional shape right here. Uh, I don't even know how many sides this thing has right now. Uh, but yeah, that's a, th a thing that's happening. <laughs> Look at this. What the heck? So I guess this, uh, it, yeah, it doesn't really seem that there is a hand limit at this point. I mean, technically, I'm sure at some point this would crash the game if you kept going. Uh, but yeah, I guess you could call this another theoretically infinite combo and inscription adding more and more cards to your hand, with the payoff being the attack gain of the hand tentacle. Not the fastest or most efficient uh, infinite combo for sure, but this is another one. Alright, we're close to passing 100 here. This rabbit is ginormous, and uh... I gotta find this black goat somehow. Okay, there he is. We've got uh, 100. 
And let's just get past 100 so that we can confirm that 100 is not a hand limit. Oh, there we go. 101. Alright. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think there is a hand limit in inscription. Uh, I don't know what my cards are doing right now. Some sort of sixth dimensional shape I've got right here. Uh... So yeah, there you have it. That's the hand tentacle, the hand limit experiment in inscription. <laughs> I can barely find the black goat and the lammer at this point. So yeah, again, let me know what other kinds of wacky experiments I should uh, try down in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe or else.